Oh, it was 50 coins. Maybe they gave you 100 in chapter 3? Now it's 50 coins. Is there anything different? Exhibition match, maybe? Interesting. What happens if I leave? Okay, this is not gonna let me. So I'm confused. Who is this extra person I'm supposed to be fighting? <laughs> Unless he's different in this fight. Check that song again that says I'm supposed to fight a specific character. Because I'm not really noticing anything different. Unless this is the song it was talking about. Oh man. doing this already? I guess that's that then. And it's a good source of XP and cash. And later on you can probably finish it off in a turn with like power bounces. Which I kind of forgot I had to be honest. This character is still locked. 
Maybe it'll be a trouble later on. It'd be nice if there was a way to like listen to it. Well, I guess that'd be kind of weird. To have the music persist, but whatever. I guess we'll start chapter four. I wonder if I can talk to Jolene. Or maybe there's a special guy here. Who knows? If it's not a fight, maybe it's like a secret one, who knows? I'm just trying to think where a secret fight might be. Not down here then, I don't know where else it'd be. Is Jolene in there? <gasps> She's not there. There's anything on top here. No, I'm just this guy. Maybe in the bar? Who knows? Either it's something that's gonna happen later on, or maybe it's the battle toad. Oh, that's good. I don't remember. I don't think there was a thing in the original game, so that's cool. I assume later on we get to fight the Battle Master. Just don't know when. So I think we need to go in the Twilight Town pipe and it'll spit us back out and then we need to talk to Darkly. Yoshi's uh, flutter jump has this like really weird startup to it. It's very strange. It was not like that in the original. Also, when you use Yoshi, also has weird uh, startup to him as well. Man, 
And you have to be really, really good at that. It's kind of annoying. I always hate that little platforming thing because you have to be like kind of on the edge. I don't like <laughs> doing that sometimes. Oh, it looks different. It didn't used to look all, uh, what is the design? It didn't have this like hatching to it. It's a little different, but I like that. Hatch design. I think normally if you don't know what to do, you would talk to uh, Frankly. I guess there's the hints too. I've forgotten I was just there like 30 seconds ago although considering my bad memory where I'm like talking about something and then easily get distracted and then a minute later I forget what I'm talking about maybe it's good that they give me these baby hints I say baby hints because I mean like I mean this game is kind of directed towards because I mean definitely the people who originally played these aren't kids anymore because this game is pretty old. I forget how old the GameCube is, but my god, it's old. Like 2005 is almost 20 years away. <laughs> and my god, that makes me feel a lot older than I am. Ooh, I like the moon. Although I kind of like the old design for the moon, but I kind of like the aesthetic they're going here. Pretty good. Feels very storybook esque this uh, chapter. I do like how the pigs look like they're made out of paper, though. Much better. I really like the cross hatching and the designs for this chapter so far. It's really nice. It really sets it apart from the other chapters. Ooh, I like that. The music is nice. It's definitely got that creepy tone into it. I 
I like the arpeggio stuff too. And the, uh, I don't know what it's called, but the vocals for this is pretty good too. Where they go, ah, uh, it's really nice. <laughs> it's a new sprite. That's right, you gotta interact with Hammer. I forgot about that. Oh, this is interesting. The background is a green. Hmm. I think it was green in the original. I think it was more of a black. There's a start piece in one of these. I always forget which one, though. There it is. Also, if you go in here and you go to sleep, you get an item. I want to say this is the first time that when you sleep at a place, you get an item. Could be wrong. I don't remember how many times I've actually rested up at other inns. I don't think there was one in Petalburg. There's a good reason why I'm getting this too. We'll see in just a moment. I could talk to the pigs, but I just think they say oink oink. Yeah. There's oink. Oinkity oink. Or oinkity oinkity. Yoink, yoink. Which is not too much of this town. It's just like two areas and that's it. I guess mo most towns in uh, Paper Mario are just two areas. Oh, you can really see how hungry they are. Also, the interesting thing is she says her husband is a pig. You never see this husband at all in the game. You can have this peach I found. Imagine having to split a peach among three kids and a mom. That's so sad. You get a shooting star for whatever item you give her. Now they gotta eat the mom. I think in the original one of them alludes to eating the mom. Yeah, jeez. This is also sad too. I like that you can hit the kids though. I think this is the tr three, uh, uh, Toad Sisters? Noink, noink. I think there's a star piece around here. I think behind the tree? Or you have to hit the tree. Oh, it's behind those barrels. This is a pretty sneaky star piece. It's like super hard to see. Now here, oh, I like the shop too. It's like spooky. Uh, oh, this is new because this house had nothing in it before. Now there's something in here. Is this the fast travel to Creepy steeple? I hope it is. Though I feel like that would be in a shed. It shouldn't be in like a house. Like, then whose house is this? Saw her husband, by the way. I 
This is one of those times where being able to rewind is pretty good because you can see all the stuff that they wrote down, but now you can't really see what she's saying. I don't know if I like the usage of the word pig as a verb. It seems a little bit weird. Getting pigged, I don't like that. Is that a good thing, a bad thing? I don't know. I guess it depends on the tone and how you use it. What does he say? They got their, diff their unique oinks. Somebody else got turned into big. And it's the gate guy. At least he's not gonna be blocking the way. Well, he can still be blocking the way, but I think they can get around a pig. Broink, broink. Oh, that's new. You gotta blow this off a of flurry now? Oh no, you don't. Oh, that's, uh, how do you do this? You push it? What the heck? Oh, you do push it. Why did they add that? What is the point of that? Uh, yeah, it wasn't like that in the original game. Also, there's like a hidden block here. Very strange. So they have those blocks where it's pretty much nothing. I, I really don't understand why those things are there. I should swap to uh, Goombella. Kind of like how this is supposed to be spooky. He needs a little bit more spooky instruments, though. He needs more theremin to be spooky. Maybe violins, too? Ooh, this is a spooky vibe. Is it a harpsichord? I don't know what that instrument is. It's got those floppy tunes, though. Um, let's see, what items do we got? Uh, I can have Goombella do Earthquake. And we'll have Mario just do quick Earth Tremor. Oh, 
Oh man, I messed that up. <laughs> That's a bummer. Would that have been a perfect? No. Okay. Um. Go for the quake. Only three XP. They're pretty pitiful, but I mean, I did over level in the last chapter. That was a decent amount of coins. I know it's had three full, but it's a lot. Oh, I don't remember them putting it here. There is a secret shroom here. Oh, that's a lot of super shrooms. I'm surprised it didn't first strike either. Oh, is fog in it? Is that fog? It's kind of hard to tell. Is it only on my side? Uh. So did they make fog less annoying? That's interesting. You can get rid of fog in three ways that I know of. There's flurries, gale force. There's ice storm. And then there's uh, explosion from Bobbery. Uh, they're all just gonna charge again. Usually the AIs, if one of them charges, they're all likely gonna charge. It's kind of annoying. I think I'll just take damage off of one of them. There's a daisy in this fight. I don't think this is originally how this fight layout is, but I'm gonna change it. Okay, um, let's spin jump this guy. Oh, you know what? Uh, do I have a life shroom? Okay. Maybe I'll use one of those. Super Shrimps, actually? On Mario? The thing is that uh, Crazy Daisy might run away. Okay, he wastes a turn charging. That's good. Ah, dang it. Okay, Mario didn't get affected, so that's good. Only issue is... Uh, don't want to die from this. I didn't get the tattle, but I can get it again later. Okay, so far as not making Mario sleep, which is good. I'm gonna go for Sweet Treat to heal Goombella of sleep. And then I can uh, at least get the tattle for the Maisy Daisy, or Crazy Daisy. Speaking of a Maisy Daisy, uh, I'll need to equip a badge if I want to fight those things. See, in the original they're susceptible to sleep. I don't know how much they are in this game if they change that.
Okay, and <laughs> they just ran. Yeah, these the enemies from this chapter can be pretty dangerous when they get their uh, charge in. But other than that, they're not too bad. I really don't understand the purpose of these coin box because there's like much better ways to collect coins in this game or gain coins. Uh, I assume Koops is going to give us the hint. Yeah. Switch to Yoshi that way we can get over there faster. I wonder if they put that rock there because there's a puzzle later in the forest where you need um to push a rock and I guess maybe that's like a tutorial maybe to like oh if you see a rock you can push it so really good items here probably shouldn't be picking these up because they don't despawn mm -mm, whatever oh I don't talk about this but uh so these chests there's four of them and there's like this secret lore that if you talk to, there's an NPC on top of Merlin's house. Uh, he, he gives you like some extra lore about the game. And there is a tale of four heroes who I believe uh, sealed up the, uh, the Thousand Year Door originally. And apparently those four heroes, uh, each of them is a chest, so. I think I found it out recently, actually. When I was playing the hard mode, I was looking at some of the, the stuff on my off time, not recording. And yeah, apparently it, it insists somewhere that these heroes became the chests. I forget how, but apparently that's it. Why they became curses, I don't remember, but it's kind of interesting that these guys were once heroes. I think there was a Goomba, a Koopa. I remember the other ones. I'll have to check after this chapter. Of the who the four heroes were. Oh, that's weird. This is like a little barrier. I wonder if they made uh, this form fast because. Besides using Yoshi, if you're going in a line, tube mode is actually pretty good as well for speed. But the only issue is that you don't have as much control. See how fast it is. Takes a while to get started. Juice, really? Come on, these these cooking for rookies suck. 
They should have cooking for rookies and then cooking for like uh intermediates or whatever. Or cooking for pros. There just needs to be more uh Oh wow, I feel like this is pretty fast. It might be faster than Yoshi. At least feels like it. Okay, yeah, this is the setup I was expecting before. I think I'm gonna run away and have Gumbella. Also, if you run away from a fight, it should always be the same setup every time. So if like an enemy has a badge and you want to steal it later, which that's something you can do later. That's a good uh, thing to do. Let's just run away until you keep uh, until you're able to steal stuff. I think I'm just going to run away. It's already fought them, I don't need to fight again. Plus, you don't get penalized for running away from enemies in this game, because originally you would lose coins. No, you don't. So, this is much easier to see. I know some people would always forget that. Also, I think that save block is new. It was either on the other side, or it just wasn't here. a decent amount of changes for this chapter. Also, I think there used to be a star piece back here. Still is there, okay. Right, I love the cross hatching on these pipes though. So good. 